Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Imagine you're flying a high-speed fighter jet, soaring through the sky. Suddenly, you get an alert and an enemy aircraft detected miles away, way beyond what you can see. Even then, with just the push of a button, you can lock on and destroy that target. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? But it's real, and it's happening now thanks to advanced missile technology. In today's air combat, it's not just about having the fastest jet or the best pilot. It's about who can strike first from the farthest distance, with perfect accuracy. This is where Beyond Visual Range Missiles stands for BVR missiles come in. Today, we'll look at the technology behind these missiles, how they work, and why they are so important. We'll also compare the top 5 BVR missiles in the world, including India's own Astra missile. How does it compare to other big names like the AIM-120 Amram and the Meteor? So let's dive in. VVR missiles, or Beyond Visual Range missiles, are advanced air-to-air -air weapons designed to hit targets far beyond the pilot's sight, often over 100 kilometers away. The missiles are typically launched from fighter jets and can target fast-moving and highly maneuverable objects, such as jets, unmanned aerial vehicles, and cruise missiles. These missiles use advanced radar systems and onboard sensors to detect and track enemy aircraft at great distances. Once a target is identified, the BVR missile uses sophisticated guidance systems to navigate towards the target and ensure a successful hit. BVR missiles work with three primary guidance systems. The first one is infrared homing guidance system. In this system, the missiles uses the heat from targets to find and hit them. These missiles track the heat emitted by the target, usually from the engines. IR-guided missiles typically have a shorter range than radar-guided missiles. Second one called the semi-active radar homing guidance system. In this system, the aircraft that launches the missile must keep its radar pointed at the target. The aircraft radar sends out signals that bounce off the target and return to the missile. The missile has a receiver that picks up these reflected signals and uses them to navigate towards the target. This method requires the aircraft to maintain radar lock on the target until the missile hits it. This can be a drawback because it forces the aircraft to stay focused on the target, making it more exposed to enemy attacks. The AIM-7 Sparrow is a well-known example of a missile that uses this system. The last one is the active radar homing system used in modern missiles. In this system, the missile has its own radar that includes both a transmitter and a receiver. This means that after the missile is launched, it can independently find and follow the target without any further help from the aircraft that fired it. The missile's radar sends out signals that bounce off the target and come back to the missile, allowing it to track and engage the target on its own. Because of this, the aircraft can move away or engage other threats right after launching the missile, as it no longer needs to guide the missile to its target. This makes the missile very reliable and accurate, which is why many modern missiles use this system. If we talk about BVR missile's propulsion system, two primary types of propulsion systems are used. The first one is widely used the solid rocket motors propulsion system. These motors consist of a solid propellant which is a mixture of fuel and oxidizer, which burns to produce high-speed exhaust gases. This type of propulsion provides a high thrust to weight ratio and is capable of accelerating the missile to supersonic speeds quickly. However, once ignited, solid rocket motors cannot be turned off or controlled, which means they burn until all the fuel is used up. This lack of control can be a disadvantage because it limits the ability to adjust the flight path after launch. The second one is ramjet propulsion system. Unlike solid rocket motors, ramjets are air-breathing engines that use the missile's forward motion to compress incoming air, which is then mixed with fuel and ignited to produce thrust. Unlike solid rocket motors, ramjets can be throttled and controlled, allowing for better maneuverability during flight. However, ramjets cannot operate at low speeds or from a standstill. They require an initial boost from another propulsion system to reach the speed at which they become effective. BVR missiles have several challenges and limitations. One major issue is target identification. It can be hard to tell the difference between friend and foe at long distances, which makes pilots hesitate to fire BVR missiles to avoid accidentally hitting friendly aircraft. Now that we understand how BVR missiles do their job, let's explore the top 5 BVR missiles in the world considering their range and speed. These missiles show the best in air-to-air -air combat technology. Before going ahead, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Number 5. 
The Astra MK-1 The Astra MK-1 is India's first indigenous BVR air-to-air -air missile, developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. The Astra MK-1 is 3.8 meters long, has a diameter of 178 millimeters, and weighs about 160 kilograms. It can operate at altitudes up to 20 kilometers and reach speeds of Mach 4.5, which is over 5,500 kilometers per hour. The missile can engage targets at a range of 110 kilometers, allowing it to neutralize aerial threats from a significant distance. The Astra Mk-1 is equipped with a warhead weighing around 15 kilograms. The missile uses an advanced guidance system that combines an inertial navigation system with an active radar seeker for terminal guidance. It is powered by a single-stage solid rocket motor. The missile is integrated with several aircraft, including the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, Tejas Light Combat Aircraft, MiG-29, and Mirage 2000. Number 4. The PL-15, also known as Jianwei-15. It is a long-range air-to-air missile developed by China to enhance the capabilities of its air force. It entered service around 2016 and is used on advanced Chinese fighter jets like the J-20, J-16, and J-10C. The missile is about 3.96 meters long and 203 millimeters in diameter, weighing around 210 kilograms. It is capable of reaching speeds between Mach 4 and Mach 5 and has a range exceeding 200 kilometers, with the export version, PL-15E, having a range of 145 kilometers. It carries a high explosive fragmentation warhead designed to maximize damage upon impact, the missile uses guidance system that includes inertial navigation, satellite navigation, and an active electronically scanned array radar seeker. The PL-15 is powered by a dual-pulse solid-fuel rocket motor, providing sustained thrust and high speed throughout its flight. Besides China, Pakistan has also acquired the PL-15 for its air force. Number 3. The Meteor Missile. The Meteor is a BVR air-to-air -air missile developed by European multinational developer and manufacturer of missiles called MBDA. The missile measures 3.65 meters in length, has a diameter of 178 millimeters, a wingspan of 0.40 meters, and weighs 185 kilograms. This advanced missile can reach speeds of over Mach 4 and has operational range of 100 kilometers, with some reports suggesting it can engage targets up to 200 kilometers away under optimal conditions. The Meteor is equipped with a 20 kg warhead, designed to cause maximum damage upon impact. The Meteor features an active radar seeker for terminal guidance, complemented by an inertial measurement system. It uses a unique ramjet propulsion system with a variable ducted flow, allowing the missile to adjust its thrust during flight. The Meteor has been successfully integrated and tested on multiple aircraft, including the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Saab Gripen. Sweden was the first nation to take the Meteor into service in April 2016. Number 2. The United States AIM-120D. This missile is developed by Raytheon Technologies and Hughes Aircraft Company. The missile program started in the late 1970s to replace the AIM-7 Sparrow. This missile is about 3.66 meters long and has a diameter of 178 millimeters. It has a wingspan of 0.526 meters and weighs around 150 kilograms. It can operate at altitudes up to 25 kilometers and can reach speeds over Mach 4. The missile can engage targets up to 180 kilometers away, equipped with a warhead weighing about 18 kilograms, designed to cause maximum damage. It uses a guidance system that combines inertial navigation and active radar homing. The AIM-120D is powered by a solid rocket motor using reduced smoke propellant. The missile can be launched from various platforms, including the F-15, F-16, F-22 and F-35, and it is also compatible with international aircraft like the Eurofighter Typhoon, Saab Gripen, and Dassault Rafale. And the number one in the list is, the R-37M, also known as the AA-13 Axe Head by NATO. The R-37M is a Russian hypersonic long-range air-to-air missile designed for BVR combat. Developed by Vimpel NPO, with development starting in the 1980s and production beginning in 1985. The R-37M missile is about 4.06 meters long and has a diameter of 380 millimeters. It has a wingspan of 0.72 meters and weighs around 510 kilograms. It can operate at altitudes up to 25 kilometers and can reach speeds over Mach 6, which is roughly 7,400 kilometers per hour.
This missile can engage targets up to 400 kilometers away. The missile is armed with a warhead weighing about 60 kilograms, designed to cause maximum damage. It uses a guidance system that includes inertial navigation along with semi-active and active radar homing. The missile is powered by a boost-sustained solid rocket propulsion system. It is compatible with advanced Russian aircraft such as the MiG-31BM, Su-35, and Su-57. The R-37M has been used in conflicts like the ongoing conflict in Ukraine to engage Ukrainian aircraft. So, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of BVR missiles. If you found this video insightful, do hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more military tech insights. Your support fuels our content. Until the next video, stay curious and keep exploring.